what's up guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about the hacking situation that's been going on in the tcm community and as you guys can see in the background here like the actual match itself this match is actually when i beat my hacking impersonator how crazy is that i beat a hacker that was impersonating me and if you guys want to watch this full video i actually uploaded this video about three months ago so if you want to watch the full thing the link will be in the description and the main thing and the main reason why i'm making this video is because these hackers, there's an army of them. There's hackers out there impersonating content creators, and they do that because they want to try to get them banned, right? And also the main reason why I'm making this video is because I know myself and other content creators are being falsely accused of hacking recently on Reddit. And I've seen people come to my YouTube comments at like 4 a.m. in the morning where I'm sleeping and they're accusing me of hacking. You know what I mean? So I wanted to address it. I hope the devs address it because this has been an ongoing issue for a long time. So let's jump right into the video. Myself and others, such as Mel2Solid, KTRS, Weezyf Mamba, A James, Norseman, and the list goes on, we've all been impersonated by these hackers before, and these hackers are still impersonating some of these content creators, including myself. And they get away with it. And I'm going to tell you why they impersonate content creators and how they get away with it. I mean, they literally got a, a content creator banned by impersonating them. And the reason why they impersonate content creators is because they try to get them banned because they dislike them, right? I mean, there's a reason why they impersonate me. It's because some of them dislike me. And that's why that's why they're hacking. And that's why they're impersonating me. It's because they want to try to get me banned. And you know why they get away with it? It's because of the TCM community. When they see a YT or a TTV, like in the, the lobby, they automatically think that's the content creator. They don't think that someone's impersonating them. They think when they see a TTV or a YT, it has to be the content creator, which makes no sense because guess what? Here's a lesson, guys. Here's a lesson and listen closely. Everyone in the TCM community, listen closely. On PC, you can change your gamer tag for free and you know what that means you can impersonate anyone you want on pc because you can change your gamer tag for free on xbox and pc or my bad on xbox and playstation i'm pretty sure it's 10 bucks 10 bucks to change your gamer tag but on pc you can do it for free and you can impersonate anyone you want at any time of the day and that's why and that's why these hackers are impersonating content creators it's because they can impersonate anyone they want at any time like i said and the crazy thing is if any of you guys if any of you guys are accusing content creators and you guys are watching this video right now actually do some research i mean why the hell are people accusing content creators that are not even playing on PC. They're playing on PlayStation or Xbox. If you guys actually take a closer look at the people that are hacking in your lobbies, they're all on PC. So like, you know what I mean? Like why are people accusing content creators of hacking when they're on Xbox or P or when they're on Xbox or PlayStation? You know what I mean? I mean, it makes no sense. And that's the thing, guys. If you see a YT or a TTV in your lobby and they're on PC, it could be the content creator. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. It could be the content creator, but, but it also can be a hacker impersonating that content creator. You know what I'm trying to say? And the thing is as well, this is a reason why I don't switch. This is a reason why I'm not going to switch to PC. And this is a reason why I never played on PC. It's because if I did switch over to PC, people would actually think I'm hacking because I would be playing on PC if that makes sense, right? But that's why I stay on Xbox because I know there's going to be people impersonating me on PC. You know what I mean? But if you guys actually watch my channel and watch my streams and all that, you would know that I'm on, that I'm on Xbox. So just remember that, guys. People on PC can switch their gamer tags anytime they want because it's free. Keep that in mind. So that's going to be it for this video. And I wanted to make this video because I wanted to address this issue because there's a lot of hackers right now in this game and they're impersonating multiple content creators, which is unfair because these content creators work their asses off by, you know, providing entertaining content and you got impersonators trying to ban them and, you know, ruin their dream of becoming a content creator. You know what I mean? That's unfair. And I also want to make this video because a lot of people are falsely accusing me on Reddit and in the YouTube comments, which makes no sense because if you guys actually do your research, like if, 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 if you guys are accusing me of hacking and you guys are watching this video, do some research next time. You guys would know that 
I'm on Xbox. If you see a Nick Nasty YT with no numbers beside their name, that's me. I'm the Nick Nasty YT on Xbox. If you see a Nick Nasty YT on PC, that's the hacking impersonator. I don't know why people are having trouble with that. You know what I mean? Like if you actually do some research, you know that I'm on Xbox and you know that I'm not up at 5 a.m. in the morning playing TCM. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. I'm not up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning playing TCM. And I'm on Xbox, like I said. And like I said before with that lesson, these PC players are trying to manipulate you into thinking that, you know, these content creators are hacking. Because like I said before, they can change their gamer tag for free on PC. So just watch out, guys. Just watch out. If you see a, a hacking, a hacking Johnny or whatever, a hacking player, report them. Don't just accuse the content creator of hacking immediately. I mean, like I said, these guys, these hackers, there's an army of them impersonating content creators every day because they want you, the TCM community, to jump into conclusions and think that these content creators are hacking, even though they're not hacking. You know what I mean? They're trying to make you guys report these content creators and try to get them banned, which is unfair because they're not the ones hacking. They're the ones trying to help this community grow. You know what I mean? So be sure to be on the lookout next time, guys. Don't just be accusing people of hacking like content creators because it's not them. It's the hacking impersonators that are trying to get them banned. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the devs address this because it's getting ridiculous now. But other than that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and take care, guys. Have a good day and see you in the next one.